Hello, this is Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a screen overlay in your videos. So, let's get started. I recorded myself a main clip, that is the main video, so I'm going to go and drag it onto the timeline below. Now, very um, simply, it's just me scrolling through Reddit. The unedited version, there is no um, overlays yet. But let's go ahead and add one right now. So, I took this from Google, a random apple with a transparent background. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it on top. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go first to the fourth tab, cropping. And since it says can burns, I'm gonna go ahead and do fit, just so the apple does not get cut like in half when it comes to um, filming. So, like, if I go back to can burns, I will. It will not show the full apple if I go ahead and do the overlay. So. What we're gonna do is do cutaway and do picture in picture. So now, when I go ahead and play the video, the apple starts to show for about four seconds. Now we can obviously manipulate how long we want this. So four seconds, we can do about like seven or eight seconds if you want, and it will go ahead and do it until um, it has finished its duration. So. Anything you want to specify you can easily do in iMovie. Now we can also manipulate the size, so go ahead and go back, click it until it's yellow and then go click the square again. And this should pop up, so you can drag it around and resize it. So I'm going to make it probably as big as the screen. And then we can go ahead and play a second time. And that is it. So we can also do a video overlay, which I said I would show. So go back to finder and I recorded a simple minecraft video uh, we can do a simple example or we can simply do it over here so let's grab this screen recording thing that I got earlier just right before making this video now iMovie can tend to hang so be simply be patient alright it can take a bit sometimes but here it is we can do it right after this apple so Basically, we can add in a picture and also a, our own video clip. The only downside to this is that we cannot make the video clip longer than it's how it long originally is. So we can make it, we can make it shorter, but not longer. So our video is only seven seconds. So that is the reason why it can't go past seven seconds. So that is an advantage with using with using a picture rather than using a video clip. But if I were to play right then now. It, the video clip is taking the entire screen which we do not want So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure again that it is yeah So see how it's saying crop to fill and this is basically saying it will only show this portion of the screen and not show the the um, top of my Mac or the dock so we want again to do fit Simply go ahead to the um, our first tab and then go to cut away that is the default Click this arrow and we're going to do picture in picture. And there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and play from the beginning. So that is my first overlay. And here comes my second overlay. There you go, this very tiny Minecraft screen. Again, if you want to make it bigger, pause the video, click on it so it's yellow, click on the um, overlay settings. And then we can simply edit this to become more visible like that. So now if I were to go ahead and play it again, this is the result. Okay, so that's very, very simple to add in an overlay, but the only downside to this is that you cannot have two overlays on, at once. So we can have it separate like that. So it's going to be an apple first and then the second overlay. Unfortunately, we cannot do something like this. So if I were to do something like this, it will simply remove the old overlay. So I believe iMovie can fix this or Apple can fix this in the next update. But as for now, that is simply how you have to do it. So if you want them to happen spontaneously, you can do like this. So the Apple first and then the video right after. And you can control how long you want each overlay to appear. So. Thank you for watching, if this helped you out, leave a like and subscribe if you've got any more questions in iMovie. It was really easy to use iMovie, but if you want me to do a video on any of them anyway, just leave a comment down below and I will get around to doing it.
Thank you much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.